क्वेश्चन नंबर 166 द वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर अ हेल्दी मैन कैन इंस्पायर एक्सपायर पर मिनट इज दिस इज मिनट रेस्पिरेटरी वॉल्यूम which is also known as pulmonary ventilation and minute respiratory volume can be calculated by multiplying tidal volume and breathing rate tidal volume is 500 ml and breathing rate in an adult human is 12 to 16 per minute and it comes out to be 6000 to 8000 ml per minute so correct answer to our question is option number 3 6000 ml let's move on to the next question Question number one sixty seven. The partial pressure of O two and that of CO two are nearly same in which locations in humans? In deoxygenated blood, partial pressure of O two is forty mm of Hg, and in oxygenated blood, partial pressure of CO two is also forty mm of Hg. So this is correct. So this is an incorrect option. third option in deoxygenated blood o2 is 40 mm of hg and in tissues co2 is 45 mm of hg so this is also an incorrect option in oxygenated blood o2 is 95 mm of hg while in alveoli co2 is 40 mm of hg so this is also an incorrect option correct answer to our question is option number 1 Let's move on to the next question. Question number one sixty eight. Select the incorrect statement. Option number one. Our lungs do not collapse even after forceful expiration due to residual volume retained in them. This is a correct statement. Option number two. Botulism is a specific occupational respiratory disorder. This is an incorrect statement because botulism is not an occupational respiratory disorder. botulism is caused by a bacteria clostridium botulinum option number 3 inflammation of bronchioles is observed in asthmatic patients this is a correct statement respiratory surface decreases in person suffering from emphysema this is also a correct statement in emphysema elasticity of alveolar wall decreases which reduces the surface area for gaseous exchange so correct answer to our question is option number 2 let's move on to the next question Question number one sixty nine. After hyperventilation, urge to breathe is restored predominantly due to rise in, and the options given are pH of blood, PO two, PCO two, two three BPG. After hyperventilation, PO two level increases, which results into a brief apnea, and this apnea results into increase in pco2 level and when pco2 level increases in our blood this stimulates the chemosensitive area located in the medulla oblongata and chemosensitive bodies located in aortic and carotid arch and they in turn send signals to the respiratory rhythm center which makes necessary changes and results into urge of breath So correct answer to our question is option number three. Let's move on to the next question. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 170 व्हेन एप्रोक्सीमेटली 2200 एमएल एयर इज लेफ्ट इन लंग्स आफ्टर अ नॉर्मल एक्सपायरेशन दिस वॉल्यूम कैन बी रेफर्ड टू एज वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर व्हिच रिमेंस इन लंग्स आफ्टर फोर्सफुल एक्सपायरेशन इज नोन एज रेजिडुअल वॉल्यूम सो दिस कैन नॉट बी अ करेक्ट आंसर volume of air which remains in lungs after normal expiration is known as functional residual capacity so correct answer is option number 4 vital capacity can be defined as maximum volume of air a person can inhale after forceful expiration and expiratory capacity is maximum volume of air a person can exhale after normal inspiration so this cannot be a correct answer correct answer to our question is option number 4 let's proceed to the next question 